Wayne Mills was originally started on the other side of Wayne Avenue in about 1910 till the uh, 30s. They began renting, renting space in these buildings here and then in the late 1940s they moved their production over to this complex of buildings. I'm Martin Heilman, president of Wayne Mills Company, manufacturers of narrow fabrics in the uh, Germantown section of Philadelphia. Weaving, I guess, is a, is a trade that's been around for centuries. The Milnes family, which is the owner, owners of the, of the company, the, they were interested in the, in the business and the design of weaving, and they had their hands in the business. My father worked here most of his career, and he said there were 22 narrow fabric mills in Delaware Valley. It's come to the point where we, were, we are now the only one. Wayne Mills was producing basically inexpensive cotton bindings, mostly for military uniforms and things like that. And it was a very competitive business because most of our textile products were produced in the States and a lot of it in the Philadelphia area. As business started moving offshore, a lot of the mills fell by the wayside and I guess we're a survivor. I guess like they say, the hardest thing to predict is the future. And at some of our board meetings, the, the subject was brought up back in the 60s and 70s about how long are we going to exist. Like many businesses, the electronics and the updated equipment took some of the skill out of the trade. Many of our employees have been here 25, 35 years. So most of our employees are long term and they're people that care about their jobs and are interested in making improvements in production and things like that. Hi, I'm Mary Jane, Quality Administrator at Wayne Mills Company. I've worked at Wayne Mills for 16 years. When I started here, I started as just in the shipping room and doing regular manufacturing and was willing to do whatever they needed me to do and ended up Quality Administrator. It's just the, the willingness to stay here and the devotion and commitment to the company and wanting to see it succeed. I really think that has a lot to do with where Wayne Mills is today. So our processes here start with a cone of yarn on a creel which gets put onto a beam which is like a giant spool of thread with very many ends depending on the tape that we're making from it. After the beam is made we'll take it to the weaving department that gets put on the loom and then it will get woven into the narrow fabrics. Um, once the narrow fabric is woven we'll then cut it off and take it to the skeiner who would put, wind it into large skeins to be taken to the dye house. In the dye house, it's put in the kettle from anywhere from two hours to two days, depending on the fabric and the color. Once the material is finished being dyed, it's then dried and taken to pull down. The material is pulled down into single end boxes. It is then finished with any variety of finishes. It can be a stiffener, softener, mildew resistant, flame retardant. And then the material is put on rolls or spools to be shipped to the customer. The way we do things here is you just bring somebody in at the bottom and see their willingness to learn, which is what happened with me, what happened with Martin. Martin's dad, um, Nisley Heilman, he started out as a janitor and he ended as president of a company. I think that's one of the strong points of Wayne Mills is that we have a lot of skilled people here that really built the company from what it was to where it is today.